So today they finally released the host two tales transformation into two. We're gonna talk about that. And also the new exchange shop is in. So we get a new ATK weapon. This is actually not new, but it's kind of old. But also the two pills in the shop, boys, is a W. I've used them in my last recent videos. Go check the exchange shop out today, right away. Get these pills. You need them. All right, but before we get into everything, talking about possible new SS Plus weapons for the defense, we also gonna be talking about the new weapon that they just dropped for you boys. Yes, finally, the SS Plus range weapon has entered the game. And honestly, my boys, this thing does some nasty, nasty combos. So yeah, we're gonna be also looking a little bit into the SS Plus weapon. So y'all get out there, spin them scrolls, get yourself a weapon, and let's get into this video, boys. It's the right kage. All right, so now entering our new Ninja World Face Off 37. What I got for you boys is just a quick reward list for you right here. And also, I'm going to just throw up on the screen for you so you can see the outfits and the full list in its entirety. Just so you know, take a quick look at it right here. Go ahead, pause it if you want to get a better look. Here you go, boys. Next, we're going to be talking about the host transformation to Tails Ninjutsu, which I think they did an absolute beautiful job aesthetically. Like, look at that. They actually have the full body. They actually drew out the full body for this. But let's talk about the Ninjutsu now. Using this Ninjutsu, it allows you to kind of select the location right in front of you. And then you slam down with the two Tails transformation. It also deals like a burst of fire damage. So this thing also ignites fire style burning ash, which I think will possibly be like the best use you can get out of this ninjutsu. Now don't get it, don't get it twisted. It looks like it does an absolute amount of damage. So you you might want to watch out. And it looks like it's gonna be really hard to dodge. So the AoE effect is absolutely huge. But this ninjutsu looks like it's going to be fun, boys. Yes, sir. The host, Two Tails Transformation. Next, we're going to be talking about, like I said, the possible new SS Plus weapon coming in the Shinobi Striker. A lot of the YouTubers in the recent past have been talking about this image right here. The new weapon that could be coming called the, the Shukaku Spike. They called it Gara Sand Sphere. But honestly, when I did some digging on this, the only thing that I could actually kind of find is this right here. Gara. And now in this video, he does up, end up throwing this thing. Now it would be absolutely insane. It would be insane if we got defense to do some type of like range attacks with their ss plus weapon it would be that would be absolutely fire but i i, I would greatly looking forward to something like that gara i actually like this character so let me know what y'all think about that new ss plus weapon for the defense down in the comment section below boys all right now let's get into the new ss plus range flame control sword y'all know what it is this thing is absolutely insane. Now, this is in your shop right now. So, if you ain't get your scrolls up, man, while this thing was, like, sitting there cooking. I mean, bro, they was literally cooking with this one right here, bro. It's just now coming off the stove. 
It's absolutely hot. Everybody's in the pit. Everybody's rocking this mug right now. And it's absolutely insane. I love it. But you know they're going to be spamming the heavies. And we got some good news. We got some good news about this weapon, my boys. This actually does burn damage on your heavy attacks. Now, the burn damage is not that significant. I mean... But let's get real here, boys. We was all wanting that. That's what we was looking for, you know. Yo, 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 yo. Shout out to Van Dye. Shout out to Van Dye, my boys. Yes, sir. They was looking out for us. But honestly, on this weapon right here, the heavies, they do a, a lot of damage. The light attack combos mixed in with the heavy combos. I think this weapon is it's actually going to be coming out in like maybe meta. Maybe meta with the the new the new meta that's going around with these SS plus weapons. This might be the best weapon so far, but I, I can't even lie to you though, even though throughout all of the good news, throughout all of the fun, throughout everything that we had, you know, everything that's going on, the edge clause is still not buffed in the game. The edge clause is unfortunately still absolutely broken. Sadly. Sad to say it. Sad to see it, you know what I'm saying, boys. So yeah, we ain't, we ain't, we still ain't get away from the edge claws. But this weapon is still fun. It's still gonna be like, it's still gonna be one of the best weapons for range to use out here. And I am going to be making a build for this weapon as I did before. Like I said, I got some more builds for y'all, boys. So please, for me, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a like on the video if you see anything you like. And yo, honestly, if you're a member, drop spam spam the edge claws in the chat. Look at them. Look at look at my boy. Look at my boy with the edge claws. He was getting scrubbed on, so he had to go pick up the edge claws. Y'all know what it is, man. It's been the right Kage. I have fun. The new update is absolutely insane. This is season eight, boys. It only gets better from here. Let's go crazy, man. Let's go.